So you saw the four female rowers, right, that made history last week when they arrived in Hawaii after rowing from San Francisco to Hawaii. They were on a tiny little vessel. Uh, Brooke Downs is one of the rowers. She was from USC, and her three teammates, they started the Great Pacific Race in June and arrived in Honolulu, Hawaii, after rowing 34 days. You've seen them all over the news. Mm -hmm. And so Brooke is with us. Brooke, how are you? Good morning. Hi, good morning. I have so many questions. So many questions. First of all, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Now, you did this. You guys were doing this really for a good cause, right? Yes, we were raising money for ADAA, which is the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. And what kind of skills did you and your fellow rowers have before you set out? Uh, We had to learn everything. None of us knew anything prior to this um, Uh because this was all our first ocean crossing. But we had to learn how to fix any equipment that we had that would have broke. We had to learn all of our navigation. Um, The rowing was the easy part. It was just making sure that everything that broke we fixed because if that happens, you either fix it or you learn to live without it. And and this boat, I guess it is, very small for four adult human beings. How did you survive on that little boat? Um, I mean, we had everything that we needed, our food, we made our water, we brought enough clothes, which wasn't a lot, but we just, I mean, we survived with each other and we made it really fun and you just, you had everything you needed and it somehow, it somehow fit on that 29 foot boat. Incredible. And I mean, like I go out far on a raft and get a little freaked out being out at sea. What was it like for the four of you when you're looking up in the middle of the night and there's just no earth around? (gasps) I mean, it was so amazing. And I got to the point sometimes where I would forget that I was like actually in the middle of the ocean. And then I'd be like, oh, my gosh, like there's nobody for hundreds of miles. It's like just us out here. And it was really, really cool. Weren't you like scared of sharks? Sharks are actually my favorite animal, and we didn't see any, so I'm really disappointed. (laughs) Well, they're on the East Coast, so you're on the wrong coast, I think. Oh, my goodness. Did uh, did you you guys, like, swim along the way? What did you do along the way to keep your sanity? So we jumped in the water once, which was, like, a really special moment for all of us. It was a beautiful day, and then we had to get out one other time to clean the barnacles off of the bottom of the boat, so... Uh Two of my teammates did that while two of us stayed on deck just for safety reasons. And you took 90-minute sleeping shifts? Um, When we were lucky, sometimes it would only be 20 to 40 minutes just depending on the off shift we had because it's not just you get to sleep. That's when you make your food, eat your food, and do any boat maintenance that has to get done. Wow. So Brooke Downs with us. They went from rowing from San Francisco to Hawaii, Honolulu, Hawaii. Did, did y'all, what were some of the conversations you had? I mean, you're out there in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> you can talk about anything. What y'all talk about? Beer on the wall. <laughs> like, sing songs. We, we talked about like everything you could think of. What my shift with Adrian, which was my first hour, we talked about, you know, everything. And then my second hour with Libby, we usually had our karaoke hour. And the shift before we would figure out who we were going to listen to, and we would just have a headliner and jam out for an hour. It was so fun. <laughs> wow. That's cute. It's really remarkable. It was so great to see you do it successfully and see all the footage. What did it feel like when you made it to Hawaii, Brooke? Oh, my gosh. It was so surreal just being on the boat that last, you know, five-minute stretch where we were still only us on the boat, but we could see everybody on land, and there was way more people that came out to see us than any of us expected. It was insane. Was there ever a point where you're like, oh, gosh, I hope this navigation system's working? <laughs> um, I, I mean, I was lead nav on this crossing, so I was pretty confident the whole time. Uh, we only had that moment when all of our land team was asking us if we had seen land yet, which we hadn't. Uh-huh. And so we were like, why haven't we seen land when everybody says that we should have by now? But it turns out it was just like a little bit cloudy, and then all of a sudden it appeared, and then... Uh-huh. Oh my and then goodness. we were there. That's amazing. Well, congratulations, and what a well-deserved honor to do it for a great cause, and glad you guys were uh, safe, and thanks for coming to chat with us. Take care, Brooke. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, bye. Wow, what an accomplishment. Can, it's, I mean, I, like crazy. In the middle days. of the ocean, and it's a tiny little shoe I in mean, the water. There's a toilet somewhere there, right? I. Well, there's an ocean. No, they can't just 
just do everything in the ocean? No, I, sure, there's a toilet, but probably can dump it. I don't know. Man. I don't want to get involved in maritime <laughs> issues.